everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin and for today's video we're going to be doing something that I had planned on doing in the past but just never got to do it. And that is kind of doing like a ghost hunting equipment 101 on each piece of equipment that I have. So for today's video I'm going to be talking about my SB11 spirit box and I'll go over that in just a minute. But the whole idea about this, I had someone and I apologize because I don't remember who it was and I can't find it again, had posted on one of my other videos where I used my spirit box and I think the Necrophonic app that I should do videos uh, just kind of going over each piece of equipment and how it works, which I thought was a great idea and then I just never did it. So I'm doing it now. But anyway, like I said, today we're going to be talking about my SB11 spirit box and I'll give you a close up of it and how it works in just a minute. But the general gist of this is, this is a spirit box. If you don't know what a spirit box is, essentially what spirit boxes do is they sweep through radio frequencies, AM or FM, depending on which spirit box you have, or both. And what spirits can do is they can use the white noise that is generated from the device sweeping through each of these frequencies. Now, like I said, it totally depends on which spirit box you have as to how it works. There is a SB7 spirit box, which is the predecessor of this. This is a little bit newer and different. I'm not entirely sure what the exact differences are between the two because I don't have an SB7. I only have my SB11, which is my favorite piece of equipment that I use. I got this about, geez, I think it'll be two years on Christmas that my boyfriend had given this to me. Like other ghost hunting equipment, this is not cheap. So he got mine from Ghost Stop and I'll have it linked down below. When I just checked Ghost Stop's website, this is going for $129.90. So like I said. Definitely not cheap, but they do have cheaper options that do work. They just don't have as many functions as this one does. So what I'm going to do is we're going to swap angles here and I'm going to put this on the table by my haunted dolls just so I can go over the different features that the SB11 has. Okay, so if you don't know who my haunted dolls are, this is Violet. That's Cassandra. I do have a couple videos where I use my different equipment with them. If you're interested in checking it out, I will have a playlist at the end of this video. So this is what the SB11 looks like. Sometimes it's called the PSB11. So with this particular spirit box, you get two channels that you can sweep through. And that'll make more sense as I go through it. So you have the option of doing AM or FM or both. The SV11 also has an option to detect a five degree temperature difference, so either plus five or minus five. I don't typically use that, but I can see how it would be a good feature. I have a different device, which is actually back there, you can't see it. <laughs> My EDI Plus that will give me temperature, like a digital reading. It does have a stand on the back, so you can kick it out so it can stand up or you can lay it flat. It has a handle. Uh, which if you are out and about using this, I strongly recommend putting that around your wrist because I have dropped it a few times and thankfully it hasn't broken. The other thing with this is that it does have an antenna so you can pick up higher frequencies. I don't tend to use it because in all honesty, I don't want the better frequencies. I want the spirits to be able to use the white noise and that gives um, less of a chance of different actual radio blips coming through like somebody speaking on a radio. Okay, so here on the side of it you can pick whether you're going to do AM, FM, uh, or have the antenna off. Like I said, I typically have the antenna off. And then over here is your reading to where you can do temperature, you can leave it off, or you can turn on the light. Now you may be asking, well, what's the light? This is the light. Uh, turn it on so you can see. So all the light is, is it's simply a red light. You can kind of see it here. Um, there it is on the table. So the reason it is red is it is kind of night vision friendly. Uh, it doesn't interrupt with that. So that's why it's a red light. And I'll go ahead and turn that off. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the temperature thing, which this will beep as you can see. 
It's at zero right now, we'll just leave it. So right now the SB11 isn't sweeping, it's just static and it's on FM. So with this, um, right now it's set to the lowest sweep rate, which is 50 milliseconds. This can go up to 350 milliseconds, which is a little bit faster than the SB11. What that means is that's the speed that it's gonna go through the different radio frequencies when you turn it on to actually sweep. Like I said, right now, it's just static. So what I'll do next is just show you, you can switch from AM to FM on each channel. So let's say I wanted this one to be AM, I would just press this button and it will turn blue. And you can kind of hear the difference between the two. So the lights down here are gonna coordinate to whatever you're on. So if you want FM, it's gonna detect temperature because my finger is here. Um, let's let that do its thing. So with FM, you can go from 50 to 300 milliseconds. With AM, you can go from 50 to 350 milliseconds. And as you can see, the temperature detector on this is pretty dang good. And just putting my finger near it will make it go off. So one of the things that I like about the Spirit Box in particular, since it does have the two channels, is that you can sweep one in reverse and one forward. You can do them both forward, you can do them both in reverse. And what I mean by that is uh, we'll pick a sweep rate. So we're on channel one here, which is on AM, and right now it's on 50. So you can change your sweep rate. Usually I go between 150 and 200 just because that seems to be the sweet spot. I am gonna turn off this temperature thing so we don't have to deal with that beeping. So I just switched it to 200 and then I want it to sweep forward. So I'm going to hit forward and hold that down. And now you can hear it sweeping. Now my second channel is still static which is why you don't hear both. Um, and again, you can turn up the volume on this. So you can hear that one sweeping, and that's going at 200. Now let's say I wanted channel two on FM, and I want that one to go reverse, and I want that, like I said, my sweet spot is usually between 150 and 200, so I'll change the sweep rate. And then I'm gonna hit reverse. And I'll turn it up so you can hear. And you can kind of hear the difference between the two. Now typically I don't use AM and FM at the same time because you can get this feedback that you hear. I typically use FM just because the white noise is a little bit better. So if you want to switch it, you can do that. And again, we'll put this one going forward. And I want that sweep rate to be the same. So now I have one going forward and one going in reverse. And what that means is that it is, channel one is sweeping through the FM frequencies going forward, and channel two is sweeping through the FM frequencies going in reverse. Now why do I particularly do that? Like I said, I don't typically use AM because of that feedback noise that comes through, and I have better luck using FM. I do one going in forward and one going in reverse just because that kind of negates it sweeping through the same channels at the same time, going in the same direction, which would give you more of a likelihood to pick up something coming through a radio station rather than a spirit talking through the actual device. So they're supposed to be using the white noise. So just to kind of demonstrate it, I don't know if I'll get any results or not, but we'll go ahead and talk to my dolls and see if they have anything to say. Violet, Cassandra, are you here? Kind of sounded like it said no. So maybe somebody else is here. If you're somebody else, who are you? And again, you're not always going to get answers to your questions. That's the thing with um, ghost hunting or doing paranormal investigations is that obviously they're not like 
Students aren't trained to do parlor tricks, so they want to speak, they speak. If they don't want to speak, they're not going to speak. It is during the day here. Usually, I tend to have more activity during the evening. Um, but I do find this to be my best piece of equipment that I have uh, for spirits to speak through. And you can hear some blips here and there of things coming through. I'm not really paying attention to what it says. If I can get it when I go back and edit, I'll put up what I think it's saying. Or you can tell me down in the comments below what you think it's being said. But yeah, overall, that's how you use an SB11 spirit box and what the functions of it are. If you have any questions, make sure you put them down in the comments below, and I'll be happy to answer them as best I can. I'm by no means an expert when it comes to this stuff, but I do know how to use this pretty well, and like I said, it's my favorite piece of equipment. Um, if you're into paranormal investigation, what's your favorite piece of equipment? Is there anything else you want me to review? I do have a fairly decent amount of equipment, and I, I will be putting out videos for each one. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do next. Maybe my dowsing rods. Maybe my EDI plus. Um, you can kind of see two of my other ones. I have a mini boo buddy and um, my large boo buddy, which I would call him boo bear, which is wrong. Anyway, um, let me turn this off. Here's just another kind of close up of the PSB 11. Just so you see what it looks like. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please give me a big old thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!